Hey, hey, Pan Amers. Tony here. I just wanted to share a little uh, thing that I found uh, to maybe help uh, a problem that seems to be uh, complained about a lot here. On, uh, here's my, as you can probably see, it's still covered with bugs and, and stuff. And I know there's a lot of talk about the fender's too short and uh, rocks and stuff kind of in mud kind of end up right in the cooling cooling radiator and uh, I mean if, if you don't have a grill guard on it whether it's the Harley one or an aftermarket one uh, that's the first start get get that for right away otherwise the rocks get right in there but what I did is if you can see in here I took and put removed this uh, torque screws and put thumb screws, six millimeter, I believe, one inch long, with star washers to lock it. Put that on for ease of removing, removing it. And uh, take it off here. And so, like so. But you can see on the front of the grill here, there's all kinds of bug splats. Not too much this, too much mud this time because they washed it off between the off-road stuff. But there's grasshoppers and bug juice all over this thing. And uh, if you're riding a a lot of mud or something, it goes right into the core of the cooler, and then it tends to overheat. So what I did is I I took this, took the top bolts off. You don't have to take and remove the bottom one. Uh, of this protection, but I put window screen. It's just nylon window screen in there to to uh, catch the smaller stuff. And uh, it seems to be working all right. Uh, my core is pretty clean. I don't know if you can see it in there, a little bit on the top, but uh, it been went through a lot of mud and different stuff, and it it comes right out. And Puts this nylon window screen, it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, damage the core at all. So just take and uh, cut out a piece roughly the same size and throw it behind. And what I do is I take and carry an extra piece in with my zip ties, so that I don't have to just wash that out along the road. If I start getting uh, bike starts heating up. I just take and swap it out and I can either wash this later or if it's so, the stuff is so cheap you can throw it away. So anyway that seems to have uh, helped and uh, gives me some confidence that uh, the, the cooling system on this will stay stay operational even if I'm uh, back off road a long ways and it starts acting up I can clean it off there's, especially when there's no place to pressure wash or anything. So. Anyway, hopefully that'll help you out and uh, ride safe and find adventure. Take care. God bless.